In this demo, we will see how Teshel helps optimize your lab management. We will use the example of Jane, a test engineer who works for a telecom service provider. She has to create a test scenario for service provisioning. It begins with configuring the required services on the operational support system, then starting the traffic and making sure that the end user is provided with the service. First of all, Jane goes to the Teshel resource manager. On the left, all the equipment in the organization is managed, including systems under tests, traffic generators, servers, layer 1 switches, and the different topologies used in tests and regressions. The topology Jane is going to use doesn't exist yet, so she has to create it. She adds a topology, drags the Telabs multi-service router, the XC traffic generator, and Aspirant. The equipment is already connected to the layer 1 switch. All she has to do is define the required ports and click on Calculate. Since layer 1 switch control is embedded in the resource manager, the pass is calculated automatically. Once this is done, the topology can be used in tests anytime. Jane can now create her test scenario. She goes to Test Shell Studio and creates a new test under a labs folder. The first step in the test is to reserve the topology she has created, so that when the test runs, the topology gets locked. The next step is to automate the service provisioning on the operational support system. The OSS can be controlled by Telnet or by web. Jen already has functions for both options that she and her teammates have created and can reuse in tests. She chooses the web function. Once this is done, she drags the Spiron Test Center built-in interface to her test. Diving into the driver, Jen can see the automation commands available for the Spiron Test Center. She simply has to add them to the sequence in order to automate the traffic generator. Jen wants the Ixia to run in parallel with the Spiron traffic generator. She drags a parallel step and the Ixia built-in interface, which is created similarly to the Spirant. She then adds another step that parses the statistics received from the traffic generators and a test pass-fail criteria. The last step is deactivating the topology so other people can use the equipment. The test scenario is done, and one of the options is to schedule its execution in the test shell scheduler using the Outlook-like interface. The test runs perfectly and everything goes well for a few months, but then Jane's boss comes over and tells her that a new Ethernet OAM module was purchased for the Spiron Test Center. The new functionality has to be available for everyone to use in their tests, which means the driver has to change. The driver can be easily modified in Test Shell Driver Builder. Here's the list of functions available in the current driver. Jane has to add a new set of functions for the Ethernet OAM module. She begins with the Ethernet OAM Start Continuity Check. The first step in the test is initializing the parameters. The next step is to communicate with the Spirant, and this is done, in this case, with a Tickle script. It can also be done with any network protocol, software interface, or script using the wizard-driven GUI. The last step in the test is logging the data. The function is now complete. The rest of the required functions have to be implemented the same way. Once the entire set is created, one click and the driver is compiled. It is now possible to deploy the upgraded driver. This is done in Test Shell Shared Resources. The driver is immediately deployed and ready for everyone to use in their tests, and since the old functions are not changed, there is no need to do any test redesign. In this demo, we saw how Jane was able to create her topology in minutes. She was able to connect to all the required pieces of equipment very easily. She also used building blocks that she and her teammates have created. She could therefore have her tests up and running in no time. Then she could schedule the execution without being worried of conflicts with other people who use the same equipment. Finally, when the equipment was upgraded, she was able to add new functionality to the driver, compile it, and deploy with minimal effort and without breaking existing tests. We saw how combining test automation, lab management, and driver creation and modification maximized test lab performance saving Jane and her organization time and effort.